Coach Acosta, why does nobody show bottom technique? Tell me that. Let's talk about that first. You're here at C3 doing some recruiting for life. Why are you the only person who wants to show bottom technique? You know, I don't know. You know, a lot of coaches get caught up on teaching, you know, stuff on their feet because neutral is a position where you can score more points. However, in my opinion, um, as a college wrestler, I struggle a lot on bottom. So I feel like um, if I had somebody, you know, catch me early on and teach me some good bottom work, I would have been a little bit more successful in college. So therefore, you know, I want to share my experience and share, you know, how to get out of bottom. Did you grow up wrestling freestyle? Uh, in Dominican Republic, uh, you know, I actually did judo a little bit in Dominican Republic and then I... I, I moved to uh, to Miami, Florida. I went to a high school there, South Dade High School, down in Miami. Lugos are from South Dade. Yes, right? Lugos from South Dade. Yeah, I, I know them since they're they were little kids, and their parents actually used to take me out to different tournaments out in out in Florida. So I'm really thankful for what they did for me. Okay, I look at it, but you know, you got a late start on wrestling, mm -hmm. folk style. Yes. Getting off the bottom is huge. You're a college coach now. Mm -hmm. You guys are an AI, right? Yes, yes, we are. So you look at life. It's a huge chiropractic mm -hmm. school and uh, pre med school type mm -hmm. type biology major mm -hmm. stuff like that. You look at that, and you know you come up here. And now you're you're teaching guys. Mm -hmm. and you, have a, you guys have a big roster, yes, right? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. and you got to get guys off the bottom. Mm -hmm. How important is it, you know, in the college game? You know, uh, my coach always told me uh, that if you can't get out of bottom, you should not win a college match. And you know, especially when you transition to college wrestling, you have to uh, you have to get out of bottom because you know riding time is a big factor. So you know, getting my guys used to getting out of bottom, choosing bottom, even if they don't feel like it, and they have to do it anyway because that's how you get better when you do things anyway. You're junior college national champ. Yes. You know a little bit about wrestling. Yes. You wrestled at a pretty high level. You wrestled at Grandview. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're pretty good. They win yes. a lot. Um, what do you think you've done, and what have you taken from all the places you've either wrestled or coached now? How, how are you applying it and making life you know, a power in the NAIA? You know, um, I wrestled on Saturday, like I said, Coach Victor Bamacidia and my coach, Duck Reyna, they did a good job you know, bringing me up and teaching me the fundamentals of wrestling and the mindset. Um, at Wabansi, I had great coaches. Coach Robinson, he, he did a good job, and, and Coach Jeff. And I got their positive attitude. And then I went to Grandview, and they're just some bad dudes over there. And I was able to compete, and they were the ones that actually raised the level higher. And um, I coached at Grandview. I coached at the Coast Guard Academy with, uh, with, a, with a good guy there. So there, I got a little bit more of my, my coaching philosophy. And then now I'm trying to mix all the coaching experience that I had there and trying to make it my own. And it's going successful so far. I have my first national champ, and we placed top three the two years I've been here at national duels. And um, we've been in the top ten every year that I've been here. You know, you look at life. How do you sell it to people? It's in Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a great pre-med mm -hmm. school. You know, mm -hmm. you're getting a good de degree from it. How mm -hmm. do you sell it to some guy? What do you say to a recruiter, mm -hmm. and what are you looking for in a recruiter? You know, um, I believe that wrestling is a tool that we could use to change your life. And, you know, I use the word life a lot just because, you know, wrestling did a lot in my life. And um, I could bring kids here and change and really change their life. And we're not just a chiropractic school. We also have a business degree. We have a positive psychology degree. And we have other degrees that could offer. And um, I just want to make sure I bring guys here and, and, and show them that what I'm about. I'm a true firm believer that wrestling is a tool that we could use to change your life and, and, and do better, get a college degree. You know, I came from a place that, you know, not a lot of people get college degrees. And right now I have my master's and I have a dream job. My full-time job is to, you know, coach, you know, coach at Life University. Where you started to where you are now, could you have pictured it as a kid? Ah, uh, no, not really. Not coming up in Dominican Republic, man. That is a rough place, and I'm pretty blessed that God blessed me with the opportunity to get out of there and, and, and do a sport such like wrestling so I could pay back and help out kids like myself. How much fun is this to come and recruit? You know, this is probably cool to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it gets pretty warm down there, right? Mm -hmm. Dominican Republic oh, yeah, and then South harder. Florida. Oh, yeah. Real warm down there, right? Uh -huh. What's this like to use, be able to come in a room? All these kids are functioning pretty mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. and with the under, it's, it's 95, 100 degrees mm -hmm. in here. What's it like for you to be able to come here and see kids grinding through that? You know, I want to first thank, you know, Compound for allowing me, giving me the opportunity to invite me here. You know, it's a great opportunity for me to, you know, meet all the best kids in the, you know, around Georgia and a couple of best kids in the country. There's kids that flew out of here from everywhere. So, it gives me a better perspective on recruiting, you know, overall. And uh, I get to share my vision. I get to find kids that want to live the right lifestyle and, and come to life and, and be better people. All right. They're going to do these tests right now. What are you looking for when a guy's climbing the rope right now or doing the pull-up? What are you looking for? I look for the, the fastest guy and good technique, man. A lot of people, you know, get the technique wrong. Like that guy, you see he's hooking the leg, so he's making sure he's not going to bust his butt. So I look for the te right technique when I'm recruiting. Pull-ups. Pull-ups. Look at that. He's, you know, I would like a little bit of more... I want him to stand his elbows more a little bit, but he, he's, he's not going to mount. You guys, you want guys to keep get that extra one too, oh, right? Oh yeah, the extra one. That's that's what makes the difference. You know, when you do it anyway, that's how you win. You know. All right, you got anything else for me? No, that'll be all. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward and great technique on the bottom. All right, thank you.